What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome to Rune vs. Brawls. And man, when I tell you I got you the hidden gems on this channel, this one is a banger, bro. Nobody's talking about it, but I guarantee they will. This one's masterclass in its genre right now. So what this is, and hear me out for a second, this is a auto chess card game through and through it is a perfect hybrid of the two if you're a fan of either genre you're gonna find a lot to love if you're a fan of both genres you're gonna find a lot to love if you don't really like either genre you might something find something different about a game that combines them this well and does its own thing so of course we're gonna show it off by playing a ranked match it's pretty much the only way we can do this man and of course, at the end of this, we got to talk about this right here in the news. Official first championship. $1650 total prize. How many people have been telling me I got to put my money where my mouth is? I don't know how many times I got to do a series and hit number one. Hit number five. Hit number ten. A lot of number ones. How many times off camera? A lot of people still tell me I got to put my money where my mouth is. We're going to talk about what I think about this little championship right here uh, at the end of this video. But what you're about to see... It's going to be me and seven other people, a lobby of eight, and it is ranked, and we have to, it's a free-for-all, there are no teams. We have to take each other on, and the last man standing wins in an auto chess card game. So there's going to be two phases. There's going to be the preparation phase, which is extreme, it's the most important phase, and then the combat phase, depending on how well you set yourself up in preparation, again and again and again. Now we're going to be buying units in this first phase. They cost gold. Uh, three gold to purchase a unit. It's kind of like a gotcha in that regard. So if you like gotcha games, I got you covered here too. Um, so these are our units right here. So are our uh, opponents right here. So we're going to get in here and we're going to have a shop available to us from this captain over here. But first we got to pick a power. And this is going to be like a hearthstone power right here. It's just going to be here the whole time. Uh, when you win a combat, a random friendly minion gains 1-1 one, one for each other subtype. Whenever you upgrade Morgan's crew, you get random equipment for your crew level. Let's go ahead and take this. That's going to be a passive power. And every time that we win, we're just going to get stronger is basically all you got to know. Now we have three units available to us in this little shop. And Captain over here is going to be handing them out for us. So who do we want out of this? This man Reborns, which is actually a really dirty early game. I'm going to take him. So he is a 2-2. Two -two. He has two attack and two HP. When he dies, his passive is Reborn, so he comes right back. I basically got two units out of this pull. <clears throat> that is very solid. We're going to end turn, and we're going to go into the combat phase all of a sudden. Now, Lena here is going to try and go against us. We insta-kill theirs, and we come back, so we actually win. We have two attack on the field right now, so we did two damage to Lena just now. However much attack you have on the field is how much damage you just did to that person. Now, gain 1-1 one, one with duty is pretty freaking disgusting, bro. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this person right here. I'm going to place him right here. We're going to place him right here. <clears throat> We're going to freeze these units right here. And what that freeze button does, it's free. It keeps these right here for me for the next turn. So I can pull this guy again. If you get three units of the same type, I'll show you what happens because it's going to happen. Now let's see what this person drafted. I don't know what this is. Uh, nothing crazy for the early game, so this is definitely a win right here. Uh, and we do get two damage off on this person. We haven't taken damage yet. We're actually destroying right now. So let's see what we got going on over here. Uh, we can definitely pull this person. This is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to see what we got out of, uh, this man right here. We're going to go ahead and place him right here. And go ahead and put this duty down right here. It is a, this is a card. This is not a unit. This is a card called duty. It does something for each unit. So this is going to give him plus one, plus one permanently. Just permanently. We ain't even got to worry about it, man. Uh, on top of that, we're just we're just going to click done. We don't need to save any of these. There's no point in refreshing it because we're not going to be able to keep them. We're just going to do our thing. We're going to save one gold. You get more gold as the game goes on, which is very important to note. You get more gold with each win, uh, each match, and all that. The economy game, it starts to become to the point where you have a full 10 gold every single time. And it's represented at the left, if I haven't mentioned that already. Now we got something annoying to go on. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So this button right here, you see the stars next to it? It costs quite a bit of gold. But you upgrade the star level of everything that you're seeing. So now when I refresh, suddenly there are two star things available to us. We didn't actually get any, but we did get a protective helmet gear. It's not that crazy, 
but we're kind of out of options for this turn. I got to get something out of it. Why don't we go ahead and put some armor on this man, give him more HP, give this dude another plus one plus one, and go ahead and call that good. Uh, this man's 5-5, five, five, this man's 3-5 all of a sudden, and this man is 2-2, two, two, and we're set pretty well. This man has a lot of units, but we got some beefcakes on our team. That was an insta-kill on his strongest unit. The revive comes out. This man is 5-5. Five, five. He's gonna have to do a lot to get through this man right here. We actually do win this fight. It might be a draw. It was a draw. No one lost. No one won. No one takes damage that fight. We are holding our own against five units at a time. Let's see if we can make that a little better. So what do we got right here? <clears throat> Nothing crazy. How much is this going to cost me? I don't actually remember the cost of each upgrade. So that's a little frustrating, but I do think it might be the best thing to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's make it happen. And honestly, let's go ahead and refresh and see if we get anything crazy out of this draw. We do have a three. We have another three. We have a lot of options available to us all of a sudden. And a rusty sword is pretty freaking slick. Let's drop this down. We don't need any of these. So honestly, we aren't even going to freeze. We aren't even going to freeze. We're going to go ahead and jump to the next one. We got plenty out of it. We got another plus one plus one. Let's see what we got against this guy. Uh, he did a lot of damage to us, but we come back. We still have the six one on the field. We still have a lot of DPS on the field. He does kill us. We took a lot of damage just now. A lot of damage. <clears throat> Suddenly things are a little drastic. We got to make drastic plays this next turn. We have full gold. We have eight gold available to us. We're going to make full use out of all of it. We are not upgrading again this time. Uh, adjacent minions plus one plus one is a dirty freaking card. We're going to put it right here. These two have plus one plus one all of a sudden with him being right here. On top of that, and we're just going to go ahead and give him the duty to make it happen. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and refresh. See what we can get out of this one. We got Goblin Exoskeleton. Gain life equal to the number of mercenaries you own is beautiful. However, I would like another unit. Put a random trap into play is dirty absolutely dirty uh what do i want to do with this man do i want to make someone really beefy or do i want another unit i want another unit let's go ahead and do it let's go ahead and place him out right here bro place him out right there make him a he already got his plus one plus one so actually that just worked out perfect and honestly saving anything not gonna be worth it let's go ahead and move on to the next turn let's see how this lineup does with two new units against alina looking pretty dirty right now isn't it so you're seeing how cool this game is it is a card game and there's gonna be more cards coming into play as we go there's gear cards there's equipment cards there's unit cards they all do different stuff they all have different passives on top of just you know the regular combat it is a brutal brutal just learning curve to get through this we did four damage to that man well not really a brutal learning curve uh, i but if you want to get really freaking good then yes there is a learning curve you know what i mean which I'm very okay with. We're going to upgrade this star level one more time. And we're going to refresh and see what we can get. Oh my god, bro. Two wolves are off the bat. Give a friendly beast plus two attack. But other friendly beasts have plus two plus one. Is this a beast right here? I wish I... Now he's a mercenary. Um, We can get two of these. Which is pretty dirty, bro. We can also get this guy. Let's go ahead and get this guy for now. And freeze. And go ahead and place this guy. What exactly does he do? Uh, double strike. Other friendly beasts have plus two, plus one. So we're going to go ahead and place him right here, bro. Place him right there. And go ahead and drop this duty. Uh, we can't. We can't. We're out of money. It is all good. Let's see how this is looking with this bear. Now, my opponent finally, uh, he took longer to close out than I did. He's got a stacked team, bro. He's got a stacked team all of a sudden. It is all good. We killed his big beefy man. He did reborn. It is all good. We're getting a lot of value out of this. However, he is going to get a lot of kills here. It looks like this is done. Hopefully, we can mitigate a lot of the damage taken. But we did hold our own there. We only took six that time. So we're honestly fine. We're kind of low on the bracket right now. But we have a lot of comeback potential with this turn. So we're going to see if we can make that happen. We got another one of this Scarecrow. We have to take him. And honestly, I'm taking two Wolves. It's expensive, but I'm doing it. Now we're going to go ahead and place one of these wolves down immediately. Give a friendly beast plus two attack. Yes, absolutely. Choose target. You right there. You get that plus two attack. Um, <clears throat> Now I can place him down again, but I got to get rid of somebody. Honestly, this dude right here isn't got... We're going to get rid of this guy. We're going to place this guy in his spot. And we're going to plus two this dude right here. And we're going to duty so that we actually get him a little more health. And Scarecrow can kind of chill. We can place another duty, get him more health, 
and we don't need any of this stuff right here so we're gonna go ahead and play it out that is a very beefy team all of a sudden and we got a card in our back pocket uh we almost have a gold unit so once we get a third of a unit and we have uh two options to make that happen right now we're gonna be in a very strong spot lena is actually out of this game right now we just killed her guaranteed killer that's 10 right there to the face bro 10 to the face you're gone we're gonna stare at you all toxic we took a character out now bear claws is here if the wearer is a beast give kill blow plus one attack that's dirty but i would rather refresh and really try and make something happen so what we're gonna do is refresh man i don't want to upgrade just yet i really need to get some of these copies in before i do there we go right there that's perfect we gave ourselves the best chance we got a six eight scarecrow all of a sudden we're gonna play it down no big deal we also on top of getting a golden unit we got a new recruit let's see what we can get out of it uh when your hero takes damage during your turn give other demons plus one reload the crew with seven minions of your most common subtype your last whisper triggers twice yes we're taking that right now we're getting rid of somebody right now as well who is it gonna be i think it's this man's turn to go bro we can't really play him down right now but we kind of have to your last whisper trigger twice so what we're gonna do is get rid of this man right here we have to do it we're gonna place this man right here we're gonna place this duty place this duty and do it again bro do it all over again all that uh honestly keep playing him out get him as beefy as freaking possible oh we're out we are out of options there oh never mind never mind it is working okay we're out of time though uh that sucks that sucks we got a lot out of it though um 16 12 6 11 this is a beefcake team all of a sudden not a lot of crazy passives so next turn is absolutely time for us to upgrade our mess so when you get a golden unit not only is it better and its passive is better and its stats are better but you get a new unit card that's gonna be something pretty freaking rare which is gorgeous we have a lot of hp that did not hurt us in any way and this person that actually beat us earlier just got pub stomped for a full 10 hp they probably feel pretty bad about themselves right now now what do we want out of this we upgrade we absolutely upgrade we can get a wooden shield reduces by an amount equal to your crew level damage suffered by the wear Ooh. okay the damage cannot be less than i don't know man i don't vibe let's just refresh all of it it's not crazy enough runic stick might be kill blow generate three arcanite we don't have anything that works off arcanite uh plus two attack to your mercenaries for each duty played in the previous turn is a dirty card right now <clears throat> i would love another wolf though uh whenever an enemy minion we got a new uh power here or a card here uh when one of your minions dies triggers last whisper twice is so nasty we take we absolutely take is there a way to just i mean i don't know man we, we might not need it this early let's save it for a second uh let's honestly let's go for the let's go for the runic let's go for the runic let's make it happen it's dirty what do we got man what do we got we got to get rid of somebody soon though this dude he, he's dirty man we gotta get rid of somebody soon though because this dude needs to come in i really need another wolf i really need another wolf if i get one more wolf that's room freed up for my man to come in either way uh i need to put him down before our next duty play i didn't expect this person to be so insanely strong maybe i should have dropped that uh last we're destroying we're destroying right now this is ranked by the way <clears throat> we're destroying <laughs> oh my god okay that's another nine to the face bro okay the damage calculates a little differently than i thought i did i just noticed but that is our next wolf i'm not entirely sure how it does now but either way uh we can place this down we can also drop this on my beast over here get him stronger get a level six minion what do we get out of it well add one random spell into your hand with his last whisper is just so disgusting when an enemy minion attacks one of your pirates your minions gain plus two plus one give a friendly pirate plus five plus five and a random equipment huh huh but add one uh when an enemy minion dies give one of your pirates do we even have any pirates i have no idea i don't know let's take this one man let's take this one let's go ahead and place it down no big deal let's place it right next to this man right here place it right next to him um someone has to get sold though someone has to get sold who is it who is it bro i think you're out of here i think oh my god he's 15 15 is is it this dude's time to go honestly i don't know bro i don't know um it's coming down to the wire a little bit it might be time to pop this we're gonna pop it um I, who do i get rid of right now bro is it this dude's time to go i think it's this dude's time to go 
We're going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to place this guy right here. And we're going to go ahead and duty up. We're going to go ahead and duty up. If this is going to give a lot of damage to everybody right now, uh, I think we have to do it. Let's go ahead and refresh. Let's refresh with everything we just did. See if we can get out of this. And we have a lot of... Not anything crazy. Not anything crazy. We didn't spend all of our gold. I spent too much time thinking and talking, bro. But we're in a very good position right now, aren't we? We're in a very good position. Uh, we're insanely strong right now. Like, so broken strong, it's hilarious. Um, I don't think we lose at this point. We are low on HP. We took a lot of early damage, but we set ourselves up so freaking well that we're in full domination territory right now. We ended up getting a card. Oh, uh, we got two cards because his last whisper went off. Return a non-golden friendly minion to your hand. It gets plus one, plus one. Ooh. I apologize formally for having to cut that one short, but in the interest of not making this like a 35 minute long first impressions, uh, you know, I got to cut a little bit short, but if you want more of this game and you want full games of ranked, let me know, man, because let me tell you, we're going to be stomping. Am I ready to just dive into this tournament we're about to talk about at the end of this? No, but will we be when it goes down? And yeah, we'll talk about why, but either way, man, either way, uh, there's quests going on. There's quests going on. They do give you these money bags. And what you use on these money bags, you finish these quests, you get your money bags, and you spend them on the paid currency. 200 gives you three tokens, and you can spend that on a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> nothing that's required for pay to win. We always got to talk monetization in these games. Uh, nothing that's required as far as pay to win. Uh, you can get emotes with them. They make your units say stuff, depending on what faction they are. If I didn't elaborate well enough... Uh, there are factions in the game, uh, you know, all kinds of different ones uh, that you're seeing per uh, per card. And a lot of the synergies were working off that. Think like Beast, think Pirate and stuff like that. But there's also these overall like Sea, Woods, Desert, Darkness and stuff like that. There's different factions for the characters at the end of the day. Those give you emotes, those give them stuff to say uh, within the synergies that you are building. On top of that, you can buy yourself uh, runes for your characters. These just unlock cards uh, that you can start out with as far as your powers go. Uh, so you can get an option of these when you're drawing your uh, first power at the start of the game. There are also multiple characters for you to pick from, which is absolutely freaking beautiful, man. All the way through. And there are card backs you can pay for as well. Mostly cosmetics, with the exception of the runes. But they're so cheap that you're going to get them free to play anyways if you don't. Uh, I mean, you don't have to spend on the cosmetics. You can just save up for those if you want. But if you like supporting developers, this is as free to play as it really gets. I'm a big fan of all of that. Now, what else is going on? There are also clans. I don't really know what goes on in a clan. Uh, I'm going to get myself 30 tokens and I'm going to create a clan. Uh, it's going to be Lucid Fate at the end of the day. We're going to take it to the top. There's not a lot of players right now, man. You're going to see one member, one member, two member, two member. Not a lot of players in the game right now. I got you in on this one early, bro. I got you in on this one early, and it is that good. Now, my final thoughts on it before we talk about this. I love it. I freaking love it. It is so much fun. It is so it is so deep, so just such a thinking game, and it's fast-paced. You do not have a lot of time to think. I ran out. How many times did I run out of time on my turns because I was trying just not comfortable enough to make it happen, bro? And, of course, there is an active chat going on. There are people playing, just not a lot. Um... <clears throat> It's it's got the depth I'm looking for. It's got the tryhard I'm looking for, and it is all ranked gameplay, which means I can grind this leaderboard. And it's not pay to win, which means it is very possible for me to get up there easily without having to just spend all my money. You know what I mean? Without having to spend all my money, and I am going to be spending because I want to support developers like this. That is exactly what I'm looking for, man. But either way, there's a tournament going on, man. So let me build a little hype for this real quick. If you guys want to see me in this, I'm going to ask the developers if it's okay if I record my side of the tournament or stream it, one or the other. I might stream it. If you guys want to see me try to win $800 out of this prize pool, I'm not saying I will, but I'm saying I got a freaking shot. So if you want to see this go down, it's going to be the top 80 players in a tournament. Let me know, bro. Because I will absolutely hit them up and be like, yo, can I stream this? Like, is that okay? And we'll make an event out of it. I'll stream it on YouTube. I, I, I don't really do Twitch, you know what I mean? So I'll stream it for you guys. And we'll see what it's all about. Um, I'll also upload the footage of each individual match if you guys are curious over the course of time. Not just all at once. But either way, if you guys are interested in seeing me try to make a little moolah off this game. 
And either way, just have a good time and see how far we can get, man. You know what I mean? Uh, we're early. We're early. I think we got a really good shot. So let me know. Either way, guys, this is Rune vs. Sea Brawls. And this is a baller time. This is such a good game. It's actually unbelievable. There is no... I don't have a complaint. I don't have a complaint. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm peeping that there's a lot of empty spaces in this minion list. There's a lot of empty spaces. There's a lot of empty spaces in the equipment list uh, and the spell list. Does that mean they're adding more? Well, it's early access. I believe it does. So if that ain't enough for you, there might be more coming, bro. I'm not going to say there will be. There is duels where you can duel against other players in a 1v1 coming soon. So that could be uh, that could be pretty enticing. And that's this game in a nutshell, bro. It's that. It's all gameplay. It's all gameplay. It's all amazing gameplay. It's all deep strategy through and through. The perfect blend of what it was going for. It nails it on the head, bro. And that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button. You know me. Only if you really liked it and if you vibe with me, subscribe with me, man. I got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems on the mobile marketplace. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.